What up, what up, world? Welcome back to another Pop Dust exclusive. I am your host, Decent, and my guest at this time is a legend in the music industry. She just released the visual for her song, Buddha, that was directed by Tiana Taylor. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the one, the only, Macy Gray. Macy, how you doing? Good, how you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Thank you for taking time out to sit down and talk to us about the phenomenal song and visual that you just dropped. It's amazing. It really gives a great insight to a lot of the trials and tribulations that you've gone through being in the spotlight for so long. So tell us the inspiration behind the visual itself. The song is about like, uh, like focusing on where you're at in life now instead of struggling on your past or getting caught up in what hasn't happened yet. So the so the, the idea for the video was like flashes of my life and my career. So we we made it into a story and then um we used like old um footage and and, and I did the whole thing on roller skates. It was cool. And Tiana is so smart, she's so great. We had a we had a good time and she made a good video. Yeah, she definitely did and one of the things in particular that I love so much about, you know, this video is the fact that for a lot of people who might not, you know, have been so familiar with how long and how great your legacy is in, you know, music and in pop culture to a degree, it's kind of a very, very refreshing reminder because you have contributed a lot to music and just to culture and just to, you know, black culture in general. So do you feel like people will not only get to, you know, relive some of your final moments, but also get to understand how much you've given to music? Everybody wants to make a difference and, and everybody wants to be bigger and, and do great things, so I'm the same and you know, it's not really contrived like that. Sometimes you hit it and it strikes a chord with everybody and everybody feels it and sometimes you don't, sometimes nobody cares, so you know, and that's the ups and downs of what I do. But I, but I wanna, you know, I wanna make, you know, songs that change the world and songs that make people dance and all that stuff. Absolutely, and you've been doing that for such a long time and given the current climate of music you know more notably music you know made by black artists you can kind of sense a lot of your influence in you know not just so much the sound you know but the the visual as well do you look at you know some of the artists that are out right now and you know some of the things that you may see in regards to music in regards to culture and go hmm that looks a little bit familiar <laughs> Yeah, I see. You know, we're all copycats. I mean, I learned a lot from artists that came from before me. I'm I'm honored if 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 somebody is influenced by me or. But I think that's just gonna always be. You know, you, just, you hear things you like and, and and you know you emulate it even if you don't mean to. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. So with this song and, you know, the, the undertone of mental health and giving an insight and in, in-depth look to a certain degree of your life, do you feel like it's easier for artists now to be more vulnerable outside of just their music, like giving glimpses into who they are in regards to their mental health being famous? I mean, it's nothing to be ashamed of. I think just people, a lot of people aren't aware of, of what they're going through. A lot of times you can be, you know, depressed or, or have anxiety and not realize that's not your fault, that you can't control, you know what I mean? Yeah. And there's not a whole lot of discussion about it, you know, like as much as they talk about other issues, you, you don't hear a whole lot about mental health, just on a regular, like just people talking. I think that that's changing and I think that's a good thing because people don't have to feel like something's wrong with them or they're doing something wrong. And Definitely. So back to, <laughs> back to the visual itself and, you know, Tiana's involvement and, you know, you have Gary Clark Jr. who's involved in the video as well. How that all came to, came about because it's, a very, very, you know, eclectic mix for lack of a better term because you think, you know, Macy Gray, you know, having the legacy and the statue that you have in, you know, your own lane and your own tone. And then you think about everything that, you know, Tiana Taylor embodies as, you know, a creative and as an artist. How did those those combination of, you know, elements join forces to make this amazing video? We just, we just did it. You know, she, we, like I said, I reached out to her um, on social media um, I had I had been watching her video she was doing and, and it came up to make this video for for Buddha and um and it was pretty it was pretty smooth you know we we got on the phone and we went we went back and forth about a couple different ideas and then um 
And then we set a date, and she had to catch a flight that night. She had a show the next day, so we shot for eight hours, and we were done. It was it was probably the fastest video I've ever made in my life. So <laughs> and it, it was just real simple and real smooth, and, and it, it was good, you know? Yeah, it, it looks real seamless, too, because everything just fit together so well. And the fact that you guys were able to shoot it in what would be considered a limited amount of time with the way videos are shot, you know, it's a true testament to both your artistry and this amazing, amazing, you know, venture together. So with, you know, this video out with, you know, the album being out with, you know, the reception has been receiving. What are some other things that you're looking forward to push, you know, with this project for the next few months or whenever you decide to drop new, new music or whatever it is that you're doing? I'm already start, started up a new album. I just, you know, I just really want to just keep putting out uh, good music and and what else? I don't know. We're just, we, you know, we're just working. We're just, <laughs> just doing our things and having a good time. Yeah, just, just being Macy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, Macy, thank you so much for sitting down and talking with us. Hopefully. If you do make it to New York, you could come by and visit the office. We would love to have you. But congratulations on the album. Once again, the video is amazing. And we can't wait to see what you produce in the near and immediate future. This has been Decent here with Pop Dust. Thank you again to Macy Gray for sitting down and talking with us. The video to Buddha is out now. Make sure you go watch it. And we will see you soon.